Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the basics of using structs in C++. Now, struct is short for data structure, and these structs in C++ allow us to group different elements of data under one, uh, one name. And these elements of data are known as members, and they can have different types and different lengths. And they're declared in C++ um, using syntax, which we'll introduce in this video. Now, for today's prompt, I'd like us to imagine we're working for a company that's asking us to create a command line tool uh, a command line journal where we input a day and a one word description of that day and we are given back um, a, a list of, of days that we've entered into this journal application. Um, so this is just a basic prompt um, and we'll be following along with it for the tutorial. To start we're going to build our file. First, let's save it to, or save it as a .cpp so we get that colorized text. We'll call this structs.cpp. All right, so we're gonna include IO stream. We're gonna include string too because I could see uh, that being pretty useful down the line, um, as well as IO manip. And so, oh, also we don't want to forget that we are using the standard namespace. All right, so before, before we make any uh, driving function for this application, we're going to want to declare our struct. And we do this using the following syntax. Struct, and then the name of our struct, which we'll call this day type. And now within this struct, we can put uh, the data that will make up our date. And so any good date has a month as a string data type. Um, and then we'll take in the, the day as the date and an integer for year. And now this next string will be the one word description of the day and we'll call this uh, vibe, how about? All right, so now we can set up our main function. And in order to declare a, a, a new struct, we have to call it by its name. And we do this by, by typing the following syntax, day type, the name of the struct, and then uh, the name of this variable, which um, will have four members, a month, a day of the month, and a year, and as well as this one word vibe uh, data type. All right, so day type, new day, and then we'll have it see out my journal. All right, now before we can output any, uh, any information from the struct, we're going to have to take in some input for our day. And this means asking the user uh, for a, a month, a date, a year, and a vibe. And so to do this, I'm gonna build out a void function called day input. And what's important about this function is it takes in a formal parameter of our struct with the and and then uh, a day. And so in here, we'll declare 
month, date, year, as well as a, a vibe. And we'll output to the user and to the date in this format. Now I know some of you are asking, why don't we just use a, a date type? Um, this is a very simple program. Uh, and further down the road, you can use a date type, you can use any sort of data type, but just to illustrate the concept of structs, uh, that may be a, a, a bit past what we need right now. So we'll take in the month, the date, and the year, and then maybe a little um, formatting, and then we want the vibe. Now we have to make sure that the structs, uh, the struct data types are taking in the right input. We do this by using the dot. Day dot month equals month. Day dot date equals date. Day dot year equals year. Day dot vibe equals vibe. And now we can run this function against our new day. New day dot month. And then we'll wrap this all up with a return zero. Now we can go to compile this code by entering co slash capital EHSC structs dot CPP structs. All right. And let's run it. Enter the date in this format. All right, pretty basic concept illustrating the power of using structs, data structures in your C code. Um, you can take this idea a lot of places and it goes quite nicely with um, learning classes and future content in your computer science trajectory. Alright, thank you for watching.